Hello and welcome to Six Minute English. I'm Sophie and I'm Neil. Sophie, did you see the beautiful sky last night? No, I went to bed early. Why? I was wondering if there was life out there. You mean life on other planets? That's just science fiction, Neil. It isn't. People are fascinated by life on other planets for a good reason. You believe in little green men? Mm, not necessarily, but possibly. Well, Mars is our closest neighbour in the solar system and the subject of today's show. And that brings me on to our usual quiz question: How long is a day on Mars? Is it about a five hours, b twenty-five hours, or c forty-five hours? And I think it must be C, forty-five hours. Things are weird on other planets, and Mars is further from the sun than us. Mars may be our closest neighbour, but it's it's hardly in our backyard, is it? It is in astronomical terms, Neil. It's visible to the naked eye, meaning without using instruments, and it's reachable by spacecraft. Well, we'll find out later on in the show whether you got the answer right or not. Now, can you tell me, Neil, why people like you get excited about the possibility of life on Mars? Well, Mars is similar to Earth in some important ways, which means if life developed on our planet, why not Mars? That's true. Its temperature is in the right zone, not too hot and not too cold.、Mm. But actually, we could find Mars pretty cold. An average temperature would be around minus sixty-three degrees Celsius compared to Earth's fourteen degrees Celsius. It's also very arid or dry, and it needs to be wet for life to develop, doesn't it? That's right. Many scientists think that liquid water is essential for life, but there may have been water on the surface of Mars in the past, and recent research suggests that there may be water underground. Let's hear some more about this from Professor John Zarnecki, who teaches space science at the Open University. We are now seeing that, in fact, Mars probably does have water, not liquid water. There, there is ice、uh, just below the surface, and there's even just recently tantalising evidence that perhaps water does flow periodically now. And also coupled with the fact that here on Earth we are finding that life in very primitive form.、Mm. Exist in the most extreme environments. These are the so-called extremophiles that exist at the bottom of the ocean. So life is much, much tougher. What does tantalising mean, Sophie? It means something you want that's almost, but not quite, within reach. So scientists would love to think water flows on Mars, but the evidence isn't strong enough for this to be certain. The other interesting point the professor makes is that life may exist in the very harsh Martian environment because primitive life exists in extreme places on Earth. Extremophiles are organisms or small creatures that live in very extreme environments and can survive conditions that would kill most other organisms. But on Mars, they would be living underground because the radiation or light and heat from the sun. Would kill any organisms living on the surface of the planet. So why doesn't the sun's radiation kill us then, Sophie? The Earth has a strong magnetic field created by its hot molten core or center, and this protects us from the sun's harmful solar wind. And what about Mars? Why doesn't it have a magnetic field? It used to four billion years ago. It's possible that a massive collision with an asteroid. Might have heated up Mars's core, disrupting the magnetic field. And if you disrupt a process, you stop it from continuing normally. Now, to return to the subject of collisions, Sophie, I have something very interesting to tell you. Yes. A meteorite or a piece of rock from outer space might have crashed into the Earth millions of years ago. That meteorite might have contained Martian life forms. So we might be descended from Martians. <laughs> well, that's actually an interesting idea, Neil. But let's listen to Professor John Zarnecki talking about interplanetary life. If we do find traces of life on Mars, we don't know, do we, whether it evolved independently or was it perhaps seeded from Earth? It is possible that life forms from Earth travelled to Mars and perhaps、uh, it existed there, or the other way round. So life on Mars may have evolved or developed on its own, or it might have arrived from Earth 
in a lump of rock. Or the other way round. So Martians might be humans or we might be Martians. One big interplanetary happy family, Sophie. Well, Neil, let's hope you stay happy after you hear the answer to today's quiz question. I asked, how long is a day on Mars? Is it A, five hours, B, 25 hours or C, 45 hours? And I said C, 45 hours. They must have a long day over there. And you were wrong. The correct answer is B, because a day on Mars is slightly longer than here on Earth. It's 25 hours. Anyway, can we at least hear the words we learnt today? They are the naked eye, arid, tantalising, extremophiles, organisms, radiation, core, disrupt, meteorite, evolved. Well, that's the end of today's Six Minute English. Join us again soon. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Six Minute English from the BBC.